Hello everyone, welcome to another 6 inches of Star Wars review and today we have K2SO for you, for you. Gan, are your eyes on? See the front of the box, we're gonna go and switch it around, gonna give you the old 360 degrees on the box. If you want to read, you can read. Basically, he's a traitor to sum him all up there. There you go, reprogram, yada yada yada, 24, and that's his box. Now let's get this big guy open. The front of the figure. And there is so much articulation in the figure. You have all your 12 points. Everything moves. I mean, um, you have to kind of loosen up the neck and head joint a little bit so it can get a little stiff you can see it's a little bit different try and get the camera to focus it's a little bit different but the paint job on here is really good as well phenomenal paint job they made him look battle worn as well which is great and you can see he's got the kind of snow trooper chest design going on more battle damage really good the detailing on this figure is absolutely phenomenal. Hasbro has, you guys have done an incredible job. Just want to point out here on the feet as well, there's a, you can see that it's clear through as well. You can see that. So which means uh, he's going to have a bit of a weird leg kind of ankle joint, which we'll have to wait and see in the movie. Right, let's go and have a look and let's turn this figure around. There's one side of the figure, you can see the side of his head and the... Um, Neck joint, which is different, but it all moves on a kind of ball pivot movement. See the battle damage on there, on the uh, on his chest helmet coming down. You can see there's the Imperial logo, which is starting to wear off. He's getting uh, his paint starting to wear off on his arm as well. Going down, you can see more paint wearing off. So you can definitely tell this droid is he's been through wars. He's seen some stuff. Onto the other side as well. More battle damage and paint going away. The same clear see-through plastic design in the uh, joints as well. So you guys can see just there where my finger is. Just there. It's the same for the ankles as well. As you can see in the ankles. If you think that's something like that, look, you can see me finger through it. There we go. So it'll be interesting to see in the movie where we get a proper look at his build design. He's a lot less damaged on this side than he was the other side. But anyway, let's go and take a look at the back of the figure. It is the back of the figure. You can see he has the same Stormtrooper design on the back as well. More paint wearing off. Once again, the detailing in this figure is 10 out of 10. I mean, it's, it's probably one of the best figures I've owned in a while. I mean, it's, a, it's phenomenal. I could not wait to get this figure out of the box. More battle damage on his ankles there. More paint coming away. I mean, I could just talk all day how great this figure is. And the main point of it would be the, the detailing. It's phenomenal. You've just got to own this figure. I mean, it, it's such a good job. Hasbro, you guys... Well done on this figure. Absolutely well done. A calf. Well done. Fantastic job. Fant oh, cannot believe it. Right, that is the back. Nothing else much to say. You've had a good look. Let's compare the sizes. Fun part. This is... We're going to compare the sizes. And as you can see, K2SO... He's a bit big, he's massive. On the right is to his is a death trooper, as you can see. And to his left, on the left, you can see Jen Ursa. Now she's probably one of the f smallest figures out in this wave. And I thought the death trooper was going to be one of the biggest. You know, there, there are, we've got some mixed sizes in this wave so far. And K2SO, whew, he's, a, he's a big, big droid. You can definitely feel... You know, the height and the, and, you know, what the guys have to work with in the movie. So you can go into the movie and you really, really, really know how big this guy was, this droid is. You, you can't just sit there and go, oh yeah, that droid might be a bit big. If you own the figure, you're like, I know that droid is massive.
Okay, so that is K2SO Review, the Black Series from Hasbro, the new Rogue One Wave. He's, he's a fantastic figure. Great detailing all over, articulation great. He can stand perfectly well. The only downside is, it would be nice if he came in a little accessory, uh, not a gun, but like something else. I don't know, an antenna or a radio pack or a backpack, you know. Anything, um, because this figure doesn't come with an accessory, you just get K2SO on his little lonesome. He can hold weapons. He holds them pretty well. So, if you guys enjoyed this review, thumbs up, leave a like, please hit that subscribe button. I like all the support I can get, help my channel grow. If I don't see you in another review, then I'll see you on the end of the Death Star's laser beam. Goodbye. Let's go. Let's see who's next up for review. Captain Kazian, subscribe to see it first.